Hello everyone and welcome back to the series on Pillars of Eternity 2. So we have, in the previous episode, wrapped up for Deadlight and now we can head on back to Nekataka, turn in some quests, and it will trigger some other quests. So we do need to take care of a few things in Nekataka now. Now that we're getting leveled up, we can uh, go and do some of the quests in the gullet but we'll see let's see where we end up at all right let's head on over to nekataka let's go there speed up let's change our flags to uh ship menu let's change our flag we'll just fly our colors for now Um, I wanted to see, I know there was some stuff in the patch notes about food decaying. So I need to keep an eye out for that. Yeah, I don't know if it's just something with the expansion pack or, or if it's actually in the main game as well. It says Path of the Damned. So we will have to keep an eye out for that. Rice and ale. Yeah, so morale should be pretty much steady right now. Alright. Okay, so... First place we need to go, I think, is just a Valiant Trading Company. So let's just go to... Queen's Birth here. Yeah, I think we need to go to the Valiant Trading Company. That's where we have our... Uh, quests for our bounty turn in and the wild mare I believe as well that be the misery's delight is pussed up canker of a boat okay let's hurry up then there's this can't be a coincidence Malnage be up in Romaro's head or I've never had a roll on the waves she finds him for us she'll sink him soon as sighted come on cap yeah so um Mount. Thought we agreed you'd stay out of my head. Oh, I weren't in your head, lad. You think like an ogre snores. Would be a fool and an half not to make sure them thoughts ain't full up of trouble. What do you think you're gonna find? Nothing particular, just uh, anything. Yeah, we need to switch out our our uh, companions again. Grab this stuff up. Now that we have some space, we can grab this stuff. Yeah, that's good. Good stuff. Alright. So, let's head on over to... I think right here. Alright, so we have to do... Turn in... This guy, Abaco. So Abaco is in the uh, Wild Mare. And... Biakara. That's a Valiant Training Company. Okay, so that's right here. That's uh, the one we're headed to. Alright, we're going the right direction. Yeah, I think this lady right here. My little privateer, you have news for me? I have dealt with uh, Biakara. Perfecto. A fitting test of your skills and a promising beginning for us both. It goes without saying that I have more work for you if you have the space for more coin. Okay, what do you have available? The company is always eager to hunt pirates. My contacts have one by the name of Veen in their spyglass. Veen is a Vithrak, if such things matter to you. Gets in your head, they say. I'll take the bounty. Gellarde. You can catch up to Veen as he sails the Dao Reckless far east of Nekataka, past the Kuau Rikuhu Islands, no doubt thinking himself beyond our reach. Very well. Right, let's go in here. Uh, here's the guy right here. Ado, my 
Hunter. To what do I owe this delight? Here's your thirsty drink. To think that such a magnificent creature could also be a water hoarding pest. Dragons are a complicated bunch. Agrasima, my friend. You will let me know if you are interested in more work, Ak. Uh, what banners do you have available? A marauder gang boss called Nomu broke free of custody along with the rest of his plunder buddies. It is Nomu slipped a noose again. That half mastered bastard be three ways mad and twice that a killer. Aeora would be better off shot of him. You seem familiar, friend. <laughs> Prison is too kind for a pirate. So there is a bounty on Nomu's head. He and his ilk fled to the wilderness north of Nekitaka. Uh, okay, well, I'll return with his head. Farewell. Alright. I do need to switch out the party members. Let's do that first. Now, what can I do for you? Uh, let's see what Is we have for sale. You like? you let me know. I did see that you can uh, buy your own members. Huh. Maybe not. Um, there's supposed to be like a import adventure um, option here. But I think my adventures are really high. Like they're in a 19s, 20s range. Yeah, so we'll have to wait a little later to buy our adventure. Alright, so let's switch out... Um I'll be shoving off then, Cap. Yeah, we we're gonna need him a little bit later. Uh it's kinda hard to tell. Um we're gonna need him to get when we go up to the bathhouse. We're gonna need her very soon too. I can uh, level her up. Actually she's, she's already leveled up. Yeah, she starts off leveled up. Hmm. We'll need Jote pretty soon. Especially if we go into, yeah, we're gonna need her if we go into the gullet because she has a friend in the gullet, which means we have to get rid of our healer. Okay, uh, we'll just stick with this for now, and we're also gonna have to sell some stuff. All right, let's get rid of. Stuff we're not going to need. Okay, I'll have to go through this stuff again a little bit later and figure out what we need to get um, as far as each person. Hey there. So she can be leveled up. I'm going to level her up real quick and then I'll be back. I'll actually get my inventory sorted out as well. Alright, we are done. We're back. We have everybody situated with the uh, items they needed. And what I did actually was uh, I got Jote because we're going to head on over to the gullet. Watch and learn. All right, so let's head on over to the gullet. Um, Jote is going to be needed there because there is a couple places we want to go while we're there. This might take up two episodes. Down, my oh, Got some stuff while we're here. I didn't get my uh, my side inventories situated though, like the hot bars for everybody. So I need to get that situated at some point, maybe before our next big fight. Okay, so we're gonna go to the gullet. We actually already been here before. Um, we had to pass through the gullet to get to the brass citadel. Yeah, typically there'd be like a uh, storybook. We're right now, aren't we? Yeah, typically there'd be a storybook here that would uh, explain what's going on. Uh, it's not bad. These are all ingredients for stuff. Have you any food? Surely you have a scrap to spare. Let's talk to her. Mercy, traveler. Never have I been so hungry. Um, if we give her food, she'll uh, increase our reputation with the people here. 
Oh, let's just give her some food. Thank you. I'll share it. I swear. You have no access to food? Always there is prize share. The pile has grown leaner these years. Little falls to our pile that is not rotten or sour from this week and maybe before. Maybe we should seek. Oh, I guess we can't do that now. <laughs> Uh, what do you want? What do you mean? Forgive me, I say too much. If you would know more, ask Inoy. Our elder listens to those in need, and he speaks out of earshot of the guards. He's there, in the house to the right when you cross the bridge. He can speak of the hunger. Okay. All right. It's nothing up here, I don't think. Uh, there's some people here. We can't really talk to them. They're not really anything we can do with them. All right, let's go down here. I'll handle it for you. Uh, what is this? They got a lot of in, uh, ingredients here. Okay. This is actually the route to Devil's Row, but we are going to wait and go there here in a little bit. Star may be able to help. What say? Help how? Poison me? Akira, no thanks. This cat. Ikis. I think uh, Ikis is... Yeah, so just uh, defensive. Sure. Uh, pox caps, not bad. I think we can get, use these to make poisons and stuff. Let's go in here. Let's talk to this lady here. Yes, yeah, so, okay. Paintly? Good gone, I nearly didn't recognize you. You look more death warmed over than Dawnstar. I didn't see you there, Shoddy. Listen, you and your friends should move along. I'm not feeling so good, and I'd hate to get you sick. Are you ill? Your muffled hacking and unsteady rhythm of labored, wheezing breaths coming from the back of the room. Nothing a little ginger root and some bed rest won't cure. Please, let me be. Uh, that combination clears mucus from the lungs. Someone might, must be very sick. Could you use your skill at the Temple of Gone? <laughs> Could use it here. There's some sick Raparu in the back. Not much I can do for them now besides keep them comfortable and hidden. Why are you hiding sick people? Because they've got drowner's lung. Spreads like gossip and kills even faster. We go on. I heard some Raparu had gotten sick, so I brought them here to care for them. City healers don't come down here. Realized what it was when I heard the rattle in their chests, the way they gasped for air. Only cure is an elixir made with pine seed oil. It costs a lot, though not nearly as much as an epidemic. Still, if news of this outbreak gets out, these poor souls will get tossed into the old city. No one with any money in Nekataka spends it on the Raparu. It's kind of you to help them. I wish I could do something. Maybe you can. You can get nearly anything on Delver's Row. Only trouble is finding it. And paying for it. Unfortunately, the children of the Dawn Stars don't have many connections in this part of town. But I bet you could find someone at the tavern who knows where Delver's Row is. Criminal types like to wet their throats after a long day of lying, cheating, and stealing. <laughs> what interest do you have in the gullet? About the only honest one. The Raparu here are treated like garbage. Even made to eat garbage from that scrap heap opposite the lift. And Dario and his principy scum took advantage of the neglect down here to set up the black market on Delver's Row. Dario? He runs most of the criminal mischief that goes on here. Some say he's an old Valian traditionalist. Some say he's a thug with good taste. Either way... I steer clear of him. 
Go on. All the while, the gullet gets more crowded as tribes from the other islands come to Nekataka. Some are driven from their homes by pirates, raiders, even trading company thugs. Others hear stories of the foreign wealth pouring into the city. What they don't realize is most of it flows between the foreigners and the palace. I see. Some days, I think maybe this is why Aethus brought us to dead fire. So we can do some good. Other days, I'm too damn tired. Mm, farewell. Yeah. Uh, we did get a couple of quests. Um, so we have harsh medicine. We have to go to Del Delver's Row to get to the medicine for her. Uh, we also have... What's that one? Trade Secrets. Yeah, so look at Delver's Row. Okay. So we did get uh, more insight on Dario, who's the authority of, of Delver's Row. Okay, so we can uh, head out of here, go to the tavern. No problem. There's another cutscene over here too. Oh, we can go here, uh, Inoy's house. He's the leader of this area. He'll uh, help us with a few things. What say you, girl? Can you see me? How do you know who I am? I see much and many things. I simply do not look with these eyes in the same manner that others do. I have heard much as well. People speak of your kindness, watcher who chases Aethus. I also hear the Raparu's heartbeat, grown thready and pained. Now a watcher comes to the gullet, as Amira has shown me you would. What's causing the Raparu such pain? The Raparu are being crushed from the top. We starve so slowly, it is an agony. No one deserves to suffer. Not like this. This is the Juana way. The fish of our nets are drawn for the tribe. The fruit of our fields, too, is reaped for the tribe. And the coin of our pockets belongs not to one, but to all. All spoils are gifted to the whole of the tribe. The tribe then partakes from the top down, from the most deserving to the least. Now, why are the Raparu the least deserving? The la last to partake of the tribe's spoils. The Mataru risk their lives to protect the tribe. The Kuaru provided skilled goods and services. The tribe takes care of the Raparu more than we contribute to the tribe. For it did, before our numbers swelled too large. The dawn stars would feed us, but the guards forbid them to pervert the order of sharing. There was a man who helped us, a soft-hearted pirate named Ulug. He worked with the Principe captain, Mad Morena, they call her to bring us food from the black market. But for days now, we've had nothing. What happened? Ulug was never late with his shipments. Always very conscientious. A good boy. For him to disappear for several days without word. He must be dead. The Queen refuses to increase our share of the prize share. Without Ulug's shipments, we will surely starve. I am asking you, what else can we do? You need to advocate. I will speak to the Royals at Serpent's Crown on your behalf. Perhaps you can achieve what those of my caste cannot. 
gain us favor with the crown. And always, we, Roparu, will be indebted to you. How else can we resolve the food shortage? If we cannot convince the Mataru nor the Principi, I believe the Dawn Stars may help us. Peatley is a child of the Dawn Stars and has become the Gullet's most cherished healer. I believe she would willingly hear your request for charity. Speak, and I will listen. Ah, uh, farewell. Okay. I have a few options. Um, we just need to go to the the castle, uh, the, the crown, and talk to those people up there. Or we can start the trade up with the pirates. Uh, depending on who you're going to side with, you're going to side with the uh, Hawana. You definitely want to get go to Serpent's Crown and took him. For what? get that Batara's squared away. Second this month, and they say the pittings aren't increasing. Do they lie to themselves or just to us? At this rate, who'll be left to suffer the Mataru's ire? Yeah, another thing you could do um, is go to Delvis Row, get the pirates to uh, reestablish the uh, crown. That's going to put you against the Valiant Trading Company, though. So you want to be careful with that. Um, we go up here, and there's like a little cutscene. We'll do that one while we're up here. Please, I did nothing. Enough. Or do you wish to consign her to the old city as well? Let him go. Fear. I'm sorry. Ah. Uh your tongue flops like a dying fish. I tire of its stink. Lower him down! Yes, yeah, they're sitting into the old city, which is uh, full of undead. May Tangaloa devour your souls, you cold-blooded eels. And that's uh, that was her uh, friend. Okay, we'll go in here and talk to her. Uh, this will help us uh, move on with the quest. Right, let's talk to her. So she is upset. Bataro is gone. Dead. What more do you want? Take a deep breath. Let's talk about this. Whatever it is, calmly. Forgive me. I thought you were one of the foreigners who sent him away. Outsiders here always go to the tavern. My village was not like this. Why does Queen Onikaza not send the foreigners away? How did you know this man who was lowered into the old city? Bataro is punished already, I say. Whatever offense he gave, do not hang it on our necks. I know you're scared, but I'm here. I'm not here to harm you. <laughs> we say the only thing that live in these depths are ghost eels. And fish eaten by ghost eels. Which are you? The traders say they bring riches in their big ships. But what reaches the gullet? Only crime and sickness, I say. Oh, that's unjust. <laughs> that is only the start. The Rawatayans promise marvels, strong walls, and plenty for all. Akira, still my back aches from building their fort, and still I live here. And Bataro said we would finally leave. Uh, what happened? I heard a Rawatayan captain took up at the tavern. Suduzo, they call her. They say she is a traitor. So I thought maybe she will take passengers. Batara went and found her in the tavern. Next I see him. The guards are dragging into the cage. Hmm. Maybe I can talk to Seduza. Looks at you with the uh, same critical eyes she's been giving her laundry. They say many Rawatine captains are women. Maybe her ears will open better to you. Hmm. Bataro took some coin, 
Everything he scraped together working on the docks. And he went to bargain with the captain. I would offer it to you, but it is probably in the old city with Bataro. Or in someone else's pocket. I could look for Bataro. I could never ask someone to go down to the old city, but since you offer, it is a big and dangerous place. But perhaps he hid himself. Perhaps. Please help him if you can. Or bring me news if you cannot. Okay. How many of you need passage to Rabatai? We are six. Three children, two babes, and me. Does no one else from your cast look after them? Akira. It was so in the village where Bataro and me came from. But here, we are all strangers. No one looks in on the sick or cares for the children. Can you take a different ship? Many ships leave from Queen's birth, but the Valians take slaves. They say the Principe smuggle goods in the caverns below, but I cannot trust such people. But the Rauatians have mighty cannons, and a big homeland they abandon for ours. Perhaps there is more room for us there. Okay, farewell. Alright, got another quest. Let's head on over to the hole. We do have... let's see... Harsh medicine, food for thought, all aboard. So we need to talk to Sedozo and try to get passage for, um, for the people, for the lady and her children. Also, off look to for Bataru in the old city. So we could look for Bataru. Um. Hmm. Yeah, we can look for Bataru. Whale's wind. Uh, Bataru does hide the coins, like over here in these rocks. I don't know if we could see it. Yeah, we can. Look at that. Yeah. So if you don't have the perception, um, you have to talk to uh, Bataru's body down in the old city. But we do have the perception. So yeah, we get 600 copper for that. It's a good way to buy passage. Let's go up here. What we'll probably do is we'll probably try to get this last quest. It's nice. Far as holes in the ground go, I reckon. Dario said there's treasures in that pit. Shh. Have you lost your wits? What pits? Oh, this pit over here. I don't think we can get in that pit. Hmm. Okay. Let's talk to her. Uh. And then we can try to get this last quest done before we wrap up this episode. Yes, this is the Rautine captain. Harami! I am here, Suduzo Nui. Do we expect any foreign merchants today? We do not, Suduzo Nui. Then state your business quickly. I want to avoid another surprise. Did you cross paths with a man named Batara? The one who threatened me. I shall not soon forget him. These Huana learn too many pretty words from the Valians. You cannot trust what they say. What exactly happened? This fellow wanted passage on my ship. As if I were the village ferryman. I told him there was none to be had. Certainly not at his price. Then what? Her hand is shaking. He told me he had coin. Lots of it. I did not believe him. How could a man who lives in a garbage heap have enough money for passage? Then he shows me a swollenet. Go on. I knew then that I was dealing with a pirate. I had heard they were influential in the gullet, but I did not realize how much so. A yeah, swollenet is what pirates have. It's kind of like a coin with the pirate emblems. I called for the guards and they dragged him away. That is the last I saw of him. Mm. Bia and her children still need passage out of the city. There's nothing I can do. The passenger quarters have been reserved by a dwarf named Orin. Why do you bring this to me? Um, you're a merchant, no? I'll pay you to take them. I can take three more in the hold, and no more. Orin and his crew have reserved the berths. That is assuming you have the coin. The children are small. Surely you can take more. I will already. 
already have to abandon crates of cargo to make room for these three, plus the food and water they require. Let me think about it. As you say. What's your business in Nekataka? Nearly done, I hope. I sold a consignment of iron and cultural coral, and will return to Rawatai with vorals, murkberries, and Andra stars. Hmm, so we can either pick either one of these, so I'll take this to the same um, conclusion. You seem nervous. Does the Royal Deathfire Company know you're trading here? <laughs> the Royal Deadfire Company would uh, frown on business in this district, but there's no harm if they don't know. I won't tell them about your dealings here if you take Bihia and the children. Very well. I could take three more in the hold, and no more. Orin and his crew have reserved the berths. Very well. Send them to me. The sooner we leave, the better. Very well. Okay, so let's go and take care of this quest. There's a Mithrag right there. Alright, so I think he's in this room here. Some stuff from there. There's a guy in here that thinks sell stuff. Uh no, these are animators. Yeah. Alright, but I'm keeping what's in there. I guess that wasn't so hard. There's a cat. Dude. Dude, uh the six toes cat. 20 health restored per kill. And also grants a uh, party is less likely to be hit by attacks. Not too bad. I have an income. The of six. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. I like to loot stuff. <laughs> Let's grab this stuff here. This is what these games are made for, looting, right? Uh, there's actually a little uh, place the way to the gullet. I think it might be a, an animal out there too. Right, let's take care of these guys. So he sits there, just generally. Uh, he's pretty much arranging things. Well, let's wait. We don't want to uh, interrupt him while he's um, moving stuff around. Don't see why you'd spend all that time around. Cheers. What do you require? Hmm. <laughs> we can lie to him. That would be great. Uh. We could lie. I mean, nobody's gonna know. Um. I hear you brought passage on Captain Sedusa's ship. Indeed. The good captain has four adequate berths, all equally sized, all facing the same direction, and she's promised to leave promptly. A most agreeable arrangement. What would it take for you to cede your spots on Sedusa's ship? Out of the question. We're due in Tokoa for another contract, and the client has already paid the advance. And we have already paid Seduzo. I couldn't possibly take back the same coins I have already spent. I'll make an offer for your berths on Sedusa's ship. A gold-packed knight is bound by his contract, and ours binds us to make all possible haste to Takoa. Booking passage on another ship on such short notice would be most expensive. I can pay you enough to book passage on another ship. All ships leaving for Rawatai are laden with luminous Adra and other rare goods. Mercenaries, even of our skill, do not rate so highly. Mm, we do have a bonus for uh, our diplomacy, so consider this me making a contract with you. So it does. Consider our business concluded. There we go. It's actually pretty cheap. Um, we could have... Paid the full amounts. Yeah. That's a grog. Anything else? Okay. We can go down and get the uh, the passage for the family now. So let's just talk to her and then Seduzo, and then we can uh, get what the passage. With me? 
Um, Orin won't be traveling with you anymore. She asks you suspiciously. That is convenient for you. But never mind. If there's trouble, I'm staying out of it. The births are paid for. You can send your friends as long as you promise not to make trouble for me. Just do it soon. I don't want any mess you've made to spill onto my decks. Very well. Alright, we got it. Let's turn this quest in and we'll be done. Um, okay. Before we do that, let's talk to her. She will tell us where the, um... Look at Delvis row. Hey, uh, fresh face. Welcome to the hole. Just got two rules, yeah? Keep your hands to yourself <laughs> and don't fall in. Need something? Um, show the medallion. Does this mean anything to you? Whoa now, fresh face. Ain't bright to go waving that thing around just wherever. I know a Mataru trap when I see one, and I'm not looking to be snared. Keep that what's it to yourself. I've been dispatched by the highest authority in Nekataka. Either comply or stand among the accused. Your choice. All right, Captain Fancy Britches. No need to get your bits in a knot. You'll want to take that medallion over to Delver's Row, the black market. It's all tucked away in that creepy maze on the west end of the gullet, the Narrows. Take a right, the first chance you get. Then keep going forward until you see a merchant stall. Look close. There's a secret hallway behind a curtain there. That's your entrance. I'm sure I don't need to tell you this, but all the same, you'd best watch yourself in Delver's Row. The crooks there will kill you just as soon as cheat you out of everything you own. <laughs> if Dario doesn't gut you first. Nod. Need something? Ah, uh, farewell. Okay, so that, that what I had was the medallion I got from um, the prince early on. Uh, we can actually hire this lady here. Never smelled meat like that before. Yeah, we can't steal this. Um, half rotten and let's talk to Ronnie? Why do you bother me, little kiff? You enjoy working here? No. The gullet reeks of illness. The beds are too small. An imp tried to nest in my hair. And Firna, the tavern keeper, refuses to give me more than one day off a month. How am I supposed to hunt when I am chained to this stove? <laughs> Maybe I'll become a pirate. Get myself a bird and an eye patch. You should join my crew. How do you mean? We need a cook. I admire your work. I don't work for free. Oh, uh, this will satisfy you. Yeah, uh, this will do. For now. Here we go. Got our little pig friend here. Onyx. Yeah. What's the bonus? Um, enhanced defenses against attacks that apply disease. Good to know. Well, let's just uh, go stealth here and grab the stuff. Alright. Okay, now nah, we're done here. <laughs> I think she was a uh, that uh, Bertha was a troll or an ogre. It'd be cool to make a troll character or an ogre character. You must be new. Lucky for you, we have a special rate for newcomers: a bag of coppers in exchange for your life. By the way, they're all gathered around you, leaving their own back exposed tells you they haven't been here long either. Yeah, so we can uh, intimidate them. Yeah, we have, uh, we need all the skills for that. Let's just uh, crack our knuckles. This will be fun. Look at one another and exchange a few panicked whispers. It seems we've made a mistake. Forgive and forget, no? <laughs> Alright. village was not like this. Why does Queen Onikaza not send the foreigners away? I can give the money back. I found the money Bataro hid. Take it. That much copper would only bring suspicion. 
Besides, maybe Seduza will accept it in exchange for passage. I spoke with Seduza about passage out of the Nektaka. What say, then? She'd agreed to take you all. Her watcher sure is something else, ain't she? Darnation? You're gonna make me cry myself. May Amira's winds ever blow sweet for you. We will pray always for you in this life and in each to come. They're going to route tie. That's kind of a bad place anyways. But I guess it's better than this place. Okay. That's going to be it for this episode. I thank you for watching. Next episode we'll move on through the gullet and probably Dove's Row. Someone important. If you're interested in making good pay and a good friend, head to the narrows at the western end of the gullet. Once you reach the alleys, go right and right again as soon as you can. Then follow the bend to the left. The bullies guarding the door have a weakness for chewing Sveth. Tell them Dario sent for you. And remember your manners. I say B had did right leaving the gullet. She went and did what she needed. Okay, that's going to be it now for this episode. Uh, next episode, we'll go to the Delver's Row and the, the secret passages of the gullet. We'll actually hit up the old city too. We'll see. See how far we can get. But for now, it's going to be it. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.